Okay, what we're do gonna do today is basically um, put a new heat sink on the video card. This is basically your video card. Um, should be facing up like this when you first see it. So now I'm gonna flip it over. This is basically what we're gonna do. You basically need a screwdriver, Phillips head, or you can use a butter knife. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but unless you don't really have anything, sometimes it actually works. So basically what we're gonna do is, there's four different spots, four different screws right here, and that actually holds the fan in place. So what we're gonna do is unscrew each one of them. And I have the wrong kind of screw, wrong kind of screwdriver, which is a little big, but it looks like it's still working though either way. So what you're gonna do is unscrew each and every one of them. Get that one out and just put it off to the side. find that later. And the third one, you might have to hold the, hold the video card too as well. And finally the last one. Hold this here real quick. And so what basically that does, it unlooses the uh, fan from the uh, chip on the video card. So, okay, so I turn it over. So what I'm going to do today is basically take it off here. So I'm going to flip it back over. And so what basically you need to do is make sure you, that all the power connectors are taken off. So this one is the power connector for the fan. You take that off. Now, as you can see, I already put heat sink on here, but I'm going to show you exactly how to put heat sink on there. Okay, so this basically is the chip where the heat sink's at. What I'm basically going to do is clean it off here. I'm today I'm using a paper towel because I don't have any other things but paper towels, so it works pretty good. I would recommend like a cloth or something, just a dry cloth. But I'm going to use paper towels since I don't have any cloths. I'm going to clean that off there. And you just got to be careful. This stuff is really messy. When you get it on your hands, it's just like, yeah. It's just, an, it's just a nuisance to get, get off. And what I'm basically going to use today is a thing called... What is called uh, Arctic Silver. It's probably the best thermal cooling paste out there. I wouldn't get anything too cheap because if you get anything too cheap you start worrying about quality as far as cooling your uh, graphics fan and so on. So what I basically am going to do now that I wiped it off I am going to put a little, little bit on it. Just a couple dabs which is that looks yeah, that looks fair enough. Pull that back out and now uh, what I need to do is actually spread it on there so you don't want to put too much on there because basically it will just make it get even hotter you want basically a thin layer so what I usually do is put use a razor blade and just smother it across but today I only have a piece of plastic because I don't have any razor blades but this is a piece of plastic I actually got from work and it's got a thin surface so I can actually slide it across so here we go so you just gotta slide it across and just make you want basically a thin fine film over the chip you just want a thin layer of it thin layer and it should be covered I mean, you don't need to put too much on there. Like I said, you know, if you put too much on there, it's just gonna 
degrade the quality of the car to make it overheat. Okay. So we're basically going to put the fan back on. So you put your fan back on. And I'm going to put it back on. Let's turn it around here. I put it on the wrong way. Okay, so now that I got it on, you want to make sure the connector's in there. So I've got the connector in there. I'm going to flip it back over. Be careful flipping it back over and just hold on to the fan while you're doing it too. So it and just flip back over on the fan and basically we're going to put the screws back on here. You can screw each individual. Okay, sorry about that. I'm having little battery issues with the cameras. These batteries don't last long enough. Okay, so you screw it back on each individual one. I lost the uh, four screw here, so we're not going to do that one. But I advise you just to put all four screws back in. You could probably do with three, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, okay, so that one's screwed in. The second one screwed in. So I got that one in there. I can actually just tighten that with my finger. But you, I wouldn't recommend doing that. My batteries keep dying here. And this is the third one back in. And like I said, just make sure you put the last one in. I don't, like I said, I just lost my screw here. I don't know what I did with it here, but. And voila!